about 12 years ago, I first came out of this railway station. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I was about to, to see, but it was quite difficult to understand, I think, that I was coming out to a place that was so busy, uh, so challenging, and ultimately completely disjointed. All I can see really are lots of cars and ultimately big red lines of buses all going round and round in circles around this big roundabout. And you walk through and you pass basically the world. You see faces from just about everywhere. I know this place from so many other places. It's like being in so many cities in in the 60s where people were frantically trying to build change. Change was more important than quality. We had to rebuild our cities, they were destroyed. There was a manifesto which was called modernism. And we ended up building more or less mistakes. So the elephant really is one place where those mistakes are becoming manifest in real people's lives. And those lives end up being fractured, broken, disturbed, unfamiliar really with what society expects of them. So you come through, you look through the windows and you're beginning now to see the Haygate. But in a way what really reminds me so much of why we were doing this was the, the disquiet, the dysfunctional nature of living here in a sense, the sadness that some people had. Clearly, there were also a lot of people that were here when they were quite young and grew up here and actually have a fond, romantic view of the past, which, which were coming out of housing that was, you know, no toilets, no bathrooms, etc., then this, this will be a paradise for you. But that, that very quickly fell away. And also, socially, we need to bring different types of people together so that they, they think about each other because ghettos are destructive for society. The Haygate didn't allow society to talk to each other. So it's a very good reason for getting rid of it.